Using 2D echocardiography, we want to look at the mitral valve leaflet function and structure. So looking at leaflet function, let's differentiate between rheumatic and calcific mitral stenosis. Key factors for rheumatic mitral stenosis include commissural fusion. This will have a characteristic fish mouth appearance, especially when you do a 2D or 3D on phos view of the mitral valve. Number two, we'll see leaflet thickening either with or without calcification. Number three, for rheumatic mitral stenosis, you'll see a characteristic hockey stick or diastolic doming appearance of that anterior mitral leaflet. And number four, you may see cortical thickening and shortening in these rheumatic mitral stenosis patients. For calcific mitral stenosis, you'll see non-mobile leaflet bases with mobile leaflet tips. And you can also see this calcium by noting hyperechoic calcification with shadowing occurring underneath those calcium deposits. For mitral valve structure, we'll take note of thickening, calcifications, cordal shortening and thickening. For rheumatic mitral stenosis, you'll see thickened and rigid leaflets. In the calcific patients, the leaflet tips are pretty normal. In the rheumatic mitral stenosis patients, the defects occur first at the leaflet tips and work towards the base of the mitral valve. This is the opposite as in calcific mitral stenosis where the defect and the calcium occur at the mitral valve base and annulus first and then work their way more towards leaflet base and tips.